let's do a quick team space overview. Uh, you can see here in our Okie Doki workspace, we've got two team spaces. One is company and one is admin. Uh, if we wanted to create a third team space, I can click here and I can create something like maybe I wanted to make a space for our collaborators. Uh, and I could write that. Um, you'll see here there's three options. There's open, there's close, and there's private, which is limited to enterprise. So open, anybody that is a member of your workspace can join that team space. The closed one uh, means they can see it, but they can't join it without an invite. And private means they can't see it at all. So probably in private spaces, you'd want to be using that for something like HR or uh, perhaps a uh, financial data, something like that. Uh, so we'll create a closed group here. Let's just create a team space here. And you can add members at this point from your space. Um, there's two different styles of permissions for team spaces. There's owners and then there's members. So the team space owner can do more stuff and invite people to, uh, to the team space, whereas members cannot. Uh, so I'll just skip this for now. You'll see here that now we've got a collaborators team space and it automatically generates a page for team space home. Uh, whether this is useful to teams is debatable, but now we can move documents into this team space uh, if we wanted to and create new pages and things like that. And so we can go into the team space settings here to see more. So right now I'm just my, I'm the team space owner here. Um, you'll see this thing at the top, make default team space. Uh, for us, that's company. And so you can see here, automatically add all workspace members to this team space. So I think most people are going to be wanting to set up a primary company team space that probably has all your shared databases in it. And then you can set up either uh, role-based uh, team spaces like admin that could be private from certain people, or you could make uh, department level team spaces and so on and so forth. Uh, you can share content across team spaces. So if you have shared databases in company, you can use those databases in the other team spaces as well. So let's see what else we got here. Uh, the permissions, again, you can see the open, close, private thing here. And you can see that there's some new permission levels, which are team space owners, team space members. So you can basically change, like if you just wanted everyone to only be able to view stuff in here, you could do that. And then this is the everyone, this is the traditional uh, workspace access. Um, and down here, you can see who can invite it, who can invite members. You can close this off to only team space owners if you want some more kind of control over who can control uh, who can be in this group. Uh, so if this is, you know, a private group, but you don't have enterprise, you could turn that to team space owners only. And you can do the same thing with the team sidebar. The security tab, now we have this thing that is uh, the same settings from our uh, from our workspace. So you can disable public page sharing, you can disable guests, and you can disable export within a workspace. So that would override your workspace level permissions. Um, so let's see what Rani asked here. She said, uh, if there's a public page within a page, it cannot be moved to a private team space. Permissions don't get overwritten. Um, so the permissions have changed a little bit. So if we look in this page now, you can see that there's these two new sections that are owners of collaborators. So I'm the only team space owner, so you can change their permissions. And then we've got members of collaborators, uh, and that's just got me in it right now. The nice thing is that traditionally speaking, we would have said uh, the admin group can do stuff in here, but we, we really don't need to use groups anymore to grant access. We can grant based on membership of a team space now. And then you're, uh, so I think more, more and more frequently, we're gonna see groups being used for role-based permissions rather than sort of group-based permissions. So you're not gonna use a marketing group, you're gonna use a marketing team space potentially. Um, I think what Rani was getting at is that if you wanted to, let's say I have a, a, a private page here and I've made this public, uh, by sharing it, I'm not going to be able to move that page into a workspace or a team space rather that has public page sharing turned off. So when I try to drag this in, I'm expecting, yeah, so this team space does not allow pages with public access. So this is going to be a bit of a pain for large spaces that already exist that are trying to migrate to team spaces that may have public pages given that there's no way to audit your public pages at this time, it's gonna be tricky in terms of getting that content into the 
team space. Um, so now you can see we used to have a sort of a uh, company HQ dashboard, but now we've broken that down into separate pages within our company team space. And then the admin used to be a dashboard within this, but we've moved it out into um, a separate team space that only administrators can access. So this has our like financial stuff, planning, uh, our HR stuff and things like that. So we're only going to be using a couple team spaces. I think some companies might use lots of team spaces and some might only use a few. Um, we can see which team spaces are available by going to browse. So you'll see here that I've got these three and if they're open, you'll be able to join them. If not, then they will have a little lock icon. Um, you can create team spaces from here. And uh, the other thing is that a, uh, I think a private team space, one for the enterprise level won't show up here at all. So you'll have to be sent a link to that to, um, to join it, which is, I think shows up somewhere in here uh, with a link. I, I haven't checked my enterprise accounts yet. We don't have uh, team spaces enabled on our enterprise account yet. Um, so yeah, and then the other thing is here, this browse all teammates, uh, team spaces, you can see you've got a shortcut, command, alt, a as well. And that opens that same panel uh, at the side of the team spaces thing. You can also add a team space here. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, it's a, just basically a new way to segment access to pages and databases. Um, so for me, I think for the most part, I would imagine having a company default team space that has all of your shared databases in it. And then your, your uh, role-based or department-based team spaces might have their own databases and they may use linked databases to pull in content from the company space. Um, so yeah, uh, there's definitely some trickier um, trickier permissions to, to navigate around. You'll see here that, for example, if I go to our HQ, you'll see now I've got some really complex stuff here. So I've got owners of company, which is the team space, have no access. Uh, members of company have no access. Everyone at Okie Dokie can comment and admin has full access and team tester can view. And the reason that I have all these things is because when you first get the team spaces uh, feature, your everything is kind of in this transitional phase. So for the most part, members of company, we're going to want because everyone at Okie Dokie can comment, we can we can move that to members of company. We could also grant additional access to team space owners and this full access admin one um, that's going to have to stay around because uh, because that is a group-based role rather than, um, we can't say members of the team space admin group uh, can access this. So, you know, the team space permissions are scoped to the team space itself. So they don't, they're not global teams, team uh, spaces that you can grant access but by. So it may still be helpful to have role-based groups as well in some cases. Um, for, the, for example, here I've got admin has full access. So yeah, so basically when you get transitioned onto team spaces, everything's gonna stay pretty much the same, but you can start using these owners and members uh, permission groups instead of using the groups and individual users. Uh, we try to use individual user permissions as infrequently as possible within our shared pages. Um, so yeah, you can see here, access may restricted, may not be shared with everyone from company, which, you know, here's, our permissions for that. We've got team space members can view and team space owners have full access. So if I restore this, I'm expecting that that's going to, yeah, it'll restore that from the team space permissions. It's going to go from no access to can view and owners to full access, which is totally safe to do. Um, so yeah, so we could change this to can comment. And everyone at Okie Dokie, you know, you could leave that as can comment or no access if you wanted. Uh, these are basically the same thing at the default team space level. Um, so that's kind of how you would transition over to the new team space roles and permissions. That's about it.